Alright guys, let's move on to the next Grand Prix. It's Saturday afternoon here in Sydney and we've got qualifying this evening for the Turkish Grand Prix at Istanbul, Istanbul mm. Park. Istanbul Park. Mm. And so Max and I will talk a little bit about that and also give our tips, but we haven't had qualifying yet. We've had two practice sessions. We have. And the McLarens have done extremely well, the Red Bulls have done well. Even Mercedes with Schumacher and Rosberg have done pretty well, they're, they're up there. Not too bad. And uh, I was watching live practice on the internet last night, Max, I was loving it. It was good to see the guys running around the circuit, uh, getting that triple apex, turn eight just oh, right. Oh, turn eight. Yeah, yeah, they were getting that just right. And, uh, you know, we, it's we're hopeful that there'll be a few more people that will show up at the Grand Prix. There certainly wasn't on oh. Friday. The, the stands were empty on mm. Friday. Mm. Uh, Bernie's hopeful. Uh, he's talking here about extending the contract for the for the Turkish Grand Prix, but I really really hope that they they get some patronage there at that Grand Prix. Max. Yeah, I I agree. I think uh, unfortunately the, uh, the the number of our Turkish friends that go to the Grand Prix has been quite frankly embarrassing, mm. uh, without putting too fine a point on it. Um, I think uh, Bernie would be looking to extend the the, uh, the Turkish contract provided uh, he gets. Uh, the amount of money that he needs or wants, of mm. course, he'd, he'd build a circuit on the bloody moon uh, and not have anyone go there, I'd provided, love to that. provided that the aliens paid him a couple of uh, hundred million dollars <laughs> uh, every year. We, we, we get that, but the drivers don't like driving around Turkey to empty grandstands. Let, let's be honest, uh, a lot of drivers last year uh, intimated exactly that. Mm. I'd like the, uh, the Turkish uh, racing fans to go out there and, and support their Grand Prix because in this day and age with uh, young Bernard Eccleston Esquire, if someone else is going to stump up some Deutschmarks or some euros. rubles or some euros, he will go, right, we're going that way. Yeah. And it's disappointing because Turkey is a fantastic circuit. Yeah, it is a it is. great track. And it'd be great for our, uh, our Turkish friends to, uh, to go and support their Grand Prix. But I think one thing they can do, Pep, is lower the price of admission to the Turkish Grand Prix. Oh, they could do that for every Grand Prix, Max. You know, I, I disagree with Kevin Costner. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> well, they built it and they didn't bloody come. Yeah. So something's going on. Uh, so let's lower the price by a couple of Turkish dollars or whatever the Turks have as their currency. And let's let's fill that stadium because it's a uh, fill the grandstands. It's a bloody good circuit, mm. and it'd be uh, disappointing if uh, in 2010 the drivers had to pump around there with uh, with a lackluster audience. I agree, Max. It's a great circuit. I was reading and uh, watching an interview with Felipe Massa, who was saying that it was an extremely technical circuit yeah. because you've not only got the quick parts, you've got the slow corners, and you've got very technical areas mm. of the circuit. It, it is a good tilkadrome. And I just really hope that they do get the crowds, as you say, Max. And all the teams are bringing plenty of updates for this <coughs> Grand Prix. The most obvious one is Red Bull releasing, finally uh, releasing their F-duct yes. for this Grand Prix. On Seb's, Seb's car only, because they won't do a comparison between the two cars. So Mark Webber doesn't have the F-duct, but, but Sebastian does. Mm. And I suppose they're looking at straight line speed and things like that. That's exactly what they're looking um, at. But uh, they're not the only ones. There's lots of teams who are bringing updates to the Turkish Grand Prix, uh, as you would expect. Yep. This is Formula One. Every race, they're going to be bringing new updates. Yep. And so far in practice, uh, McLarens have been doing pretty well. The, uh, as we said earlier, the uh, the Red Bulls and the Mercedes are doing well. You know who I want to do well this Grand Prix, Pat? Bruno Senna. Oh, well, yeah, that's... Oh, mm. sorry, Karen Chandok. Uh, yeah, you're right, but I want Sauber to actually finish a bloody Grand Prix. <laughs> uh, and I want them to uh, to up the ante. Uh, I'm I'm gutted for Peter Sauer, but this year has been, as the, as the Queen of England would say, an Annas Horribilis. It's been a shocker for Sauer. Yeah. And we're not used to seeing um, Sauer uh, going going so poorly. Mm. Um, I think they should go back to their old livery with the uh, yellow nose and the blue body and the green. Uh, that that might spur some. Um, some action, I don't know, but uh, I'd really like Salva to, uh, to, to to start performing now. I've, I've been very disappointed, and it's been pretty hard to watch actually, because I've always been a, a, a fan of uh, of Salva, of you know the, the small team punching above their weight. So let's hope they could do something in uh, in Turkey.
Yeah, we need to see Kobayashi doing what he did last year, which mm. is going Banzai and, and trying to overtake as many people as possible. Mm. And Pedro de la Rosa has had some, you know, a bit of a cloud over him regarding his seat. And this weekend he said that, uh, you know, he's, he's happy. Uh, he, he only listens to Peter Sauber and Peter Sauber hasn't punted him yet. So he's, you know, yeah. there's rumours that he might lose his seat before the Spanish Grand Prix, which would be disappointing personally for yeah. Pedro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I agree, mate. Sauber, uh, there's a few other teams that, that really need to uh, pull their socks up. But, yeah, I agree. A um, little bit concerned about Felipe Massa. This is a circuit he loves. Mm. Admittedly, it's only uh, practice, but uh, well off the pace mm. uh, of Fernando Alonso, some nine tenths off, so nearly a second off. Mm. Uh, I hope uh, Felipe can um, uh, gather it all together and uh, and perform well at a circuit that he loves. I think it'll be good for the uh, for the for the sport as well. When you think about it, we've got our usual suspects. We've got our Red Bulls, our uh, our McLarens. Uh, our Ferraris in the in the form of uh, Fernando Alonso, mm. and to a slightly lesser extent, the uh, the Mercedes uh, GP team up at the pointy end. Yeah, I'd like to uh, to see Felipe Massa up there as well. Yeah, Felipe's in a little bit of trouble at the moment. I don't know whether it's because there's rumours about his seat being, uh, you know, <clears> under <throat> under conjecture. Every every week I read, you know, Felipe we're going to extend his contract, and then the next day I read that he's going to be replaced. And, uh, you know, honestly, I, I do rate Felipe Massa, but let's be honest, he was beaten by Michael Schumacher, Kimi Rackham, and, and he's, now he's been beaten by Fernando Alonso. So He's been, been beaten fairly convincingly, uh, convincingly by, by Fernando Alonso. Yeah, this is and the, every other Ferrari teammate he's had. So he's a good driver, but he really needs to, yeah. He needs to step it up. He, he does, and Turkey's a circuit that he really does well at. He's he won, won there several times. Mm. So mm. I really hope that Felipe can get one up on Fernando. Not because I want him to, to beat Fernando, but just because it would be good for Felipe to yeah, do that. Yeah, totally agree, mate. Totally um, agree. So we'll have to see what happens in, in Le Turcs. We'll see you soon for the next video. Catch you guys. Bye. See ya.